I was having an issue with a person. So let's call this person, person A. And I told another person briefly about what is going on. And I was going to tell an other person, so a second person. So let's call this person, person B. So person A is the person that I was having an issue with and person B is the person that I was going to tell, but I did not. So person B really has a bad habit and speaking to people about things he or she should not. Now, later I found out that person A, so the initial person that I was having an issue with, I found out that the issue was a misunderstanding. That's it, a misunderstanding. So what if I would have told person B information that was not fully correct? What would have happened? Person B would have told person C, then person C would have told person D, and this process would have repeated itself numerous times. So what would have happened, this misunderstanding would have became a problem. Because the more people that knows about an issue, what is going to happen is confusion is going to seep in. When confusion seeps in, strife comes forth as well. So now from a misunderstanding, <laughs> this huge issue came about. What is your point, Kevin? Okay, give me time, my Lord. Sometimes it is best to not tell anyone. Keep it to yourself. From what I find, usually when two people or more have an issue, it is usually a misunderstanding. But what people do is tell other people now, it is an issue now. Now, there is a problem. Now, more people are involved. Now, it is an issue. So something that could have been solved so simply, now something larger came from it, which is unfortunate. You have to count the cost. Is it worth it? Is it worth confronting? Let's say that that person is wrong. Is it worth confronting that person and proving that person wrong? Is it worth it? Many people have so much pride, even when they know that they are wrong, they are still going to fight with you, trying to prove themselves right when they know they are wrong. I seen this happen. <laughs> are willing to fight you to prove their lie. 
I am telling you, some people rather have their home burnt down other than admit that they are wrong. They are willing to go as far as they have to to prove their lie. So you can't prove them wrong. You have to count the cost. Is it worth confronting that person? Look, either way, you are going to feel pain. Why not feel the least amount of pain? Why not? Why would you go so far, especially when things are really simple and silly to even speak about, why would you go so far to prove yourself right when it is not worth it? You are going to lose more than gain by arguing or intervening with this person, but you want to prove that you are right. When you are willing to dig yourself 20 feet dig deeper in a hole to prove that you are right, Listen, with some people, when you deal with sinful people, sin makes people ignorant, makes people foolish, makes people selfish. So when you are dealing with a sinful person, you have to count the cost. Is it worth it? It is best to take the humble approach and not say anything. Don't tell anyone. Because if you tell other people, chances are those other people are going to be in sin as well. And as I stated, sinful people or sin makes people foolish. You have to count the cost. Is it worth it? I think not. Now, in some cases, you have to tell other people. In some cases. But in many cases, keep your mouth closed. Stop spreading negativity. Stop that. It is not worth it. What if I would have told person B, person B, that misunderstanding would have went so bad, so bad, I am serious, so bad, and then all of this tension, then, my Lord. It is not worth it. So be humble. Close your mouth. Take the pain. If you are going to feel pain, why not take the least amount of pain? Why not? Myself, I don't like pain. But, Kevin, I can either break your arm or punch you in the chest. Hey, <laughs> right here. <laughs> punch me. I don't want to be punched, but hey, don't break my arm. Please. I need my arm. So I pray that this makes sense. Count the cost. Sometimes it is best to not prove that you are right, especially with a sinful, prideful person. Because they aren't, look, many people know that they are wrong. They do, but they are selfish. They don't care. So why prove yourself 
to a person that is continue. Hmm. So why prove yourself to a person that is going to continue doing the evil that they are doing to you now? What is the point? Well, I have to tell them that they are wrong because I want to make sure of it. When you do that, when you know that so much more wrong is going to happen when you do something, that is showing me that you have pride as well. You should only care that God sees that you are right. Proving, let me say this. I was talking to this one person and this person is in sin. Obviously, and I am not saying that I am always right because I am not. Sometimes people prove me wrong and I have to say sorry and repent of it. Obviously, this person was wrong and this person is in sin and this person was teaching me about the Bible. <laughs> this person was telling me about God and telling how a person gets saved or how to get saved and all this stuff here. And I am thinking, like, <laughs> if you know so much, why are you playing around now? Anyways, I was talking to him about something. And obviously, this person was wrong. When I wanted to speak, this person would turn his head and like turn his body <laughs> like this, like, like this. And when I would stop speaking, then he would turn around and begin to talk. So I was thinking, is it worth me saying anything else? Obviously, this person doesn't want to hear me out. Obviously, if I keep speaking, strife and more confusion is going to happen. So let me shut up and listen. I was going to say something else. Let me just shut up and listen to this sinful person tell me about God. So I just sat there and said, okay, all right, yes, all right. <laughs> you have to count the cost. Obviously, this person did not want to hear me. So what is the point in me trying to prove my point to that person? When this person pretty much shown me, turned his body around, his head like this. <laughs> My Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. Be wise. Don't be prideful. Be humble. Now, I could have gotten angry about that. This person talked for like 20 minutes or so telling me about God and not really willing to listen to me. I had to sit there listening to this person. I did not get mad. I wanted to prove my point, but hey, that person did not want to listen. So be it. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.